In politics tonight, the cooperation deal between Kalonzo Musioka's Wiper Party, Isaac Ruto's Chama Chamashinani and the Majority Jubilee Party continues to weaken the minority side, the National Super Alliance, NASA. According to the NASA coalition agreement, the alliance will only break if three political parties exit and two parties have already declared intention to quit the coalition. Could this move by Wiper and CCM to join hands with Jubilee be the last nail on the NASA coffin? ATN political reporter Jeff Kirui explains. With WIPA leader Kalonzo Musioka's pronouncement that WIPA's stay in NASA is no longer tenable, the center for the coalition can no longer hold, and the cookie is gradually crumbling. If the, if the summit cannot meet, then how will, shall we continue? And, and below that is the, the, the national management team, which has also similarly not been able to meet. So we cannot hold our members to ransom. Kalonzo's intended exit now leaving behind ODM party, which courtesy of handshake is working with the government. Ford Kenya and ANC, whose party leader Musalia Mudavadi insists will remain as the last option for Kenyans to keep the government in check. If you develop a pattern or a habit that you can enter into coalition or you can enter into agreements and then you break them at will. It will only be a matter of time and people will come to the conclusion that if you enter into any agreement with these individuals, you are in trouble because they have a reputation of not honoring what they sign up to. But the political dimension, ANC, we are focused on branding Musali as our presidential candidate in 2022. We know the NASA coalition still exists. NASA coalition was for five years. We have not expired. The five-time year term has not expired. The tribulations within NASA have largely been attributed to Raila Odinga's party ODM, which is being accused of bullying its coalition partners. Insiders indicating that ODM is rocking the boat from within for 2022 political realignments. According to the NASA coalition agreement, at least three parties have to exit for the coalition to stand dissolved. This is what I'm calling Mchezo wa Paka Napanya. Because some people want to do something, but they want to make others look bad. They want to make certain, certain people to be seen to be the ones who walked out of NASA and betrayed the cause of NASA. NASA coalition agreement further states that the coalition flag bearer in the 2017 general election is not eligible to vie in the next election. And the party that produced a presidential candidate in that election is ineligible for consideration should the coalition agreement be renewed. A pact that basically locks out Raila Odinga from vying for presidency under the NASA coalition in 2022. All parties are formed to gain political power. As ODM, we are prepared in 2022 to take over the running of the affairs of the Republic of Kenya. We stand by the handshake between Uhuru Migai Kenyatta and Raila Amulo Dinga. Some of us are reading a game into this. There are certain people who want to have their cake and eat it. They don't want to exit but they want to try and make it look like those other parties are the ones that exited. Because NASA was a dream, an aspiration of many people. For Kalonzo Musioka, Waipa will exit NASA immediately. The country opens up to normalcy from COVID-19. And with CCM on its way, eyes now will be on Ford Kenya if it will also exit to hit the last nail on NASA coalition's coffin. Jeff.